Hello everyone, today we have a new series for you guys where we get an artist to draw what they think a fusion room in Steam Universe would look like. I am Haley, who is here with Michael, and the artist for today is Chi Chani, who drew the room for Smoky Quartz. Hi there. So now we're just going to ask her a few general questions about the, uh, the fusion room. So my first question is, where did you get the name Chi Chani? <laughs> um, oh god, it was a long time ago. Um, I couldn't figure out what kind of name I wanted to go with. I was trying to join this forum, and I'm a, a really big fan of Chobits. It was my first anime, <laughs> it was the first thing that I watched all the way through, and I really adored um, Chi from it. But of course everyone had the name, and I didn't yeah. know. I was I was quite young at the time, so it was just, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. So I came up with um, Chi Chani instead, and it just kind of became a thing ever since then, and I haven't changed it. So where'd you get the Chani from? You just kind of pulled it out of nowhere? Yeah, way. it was just kind of like, I was like, oh, you could do Chi Chan? I was like, nah, everyone's <laughs> got that. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, well, let's just do a spin on it and we'll go with that. Cool, yeah, Chobits is a good show. It's really fun. I love Chobits. I have like figurines and the whole manga and the entire anime as well. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, it's another one I need to watch. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's worth it. It's mm -hmm. so cute. So on to a question about the actual uh, piece. I was wondering what traits from each gem were put into the room. I tried to think about the mental state that they were that they were in um, for being smoky cores because they're both quite. Ah, oh, what's the word for it? That they don't really think too highly of them themselves as gems. They seem to kind of downplay themselves a lot. So I wanted to go with something a bit more simple and a bit more collected. It's like, I, th I feel like Amethyst is very in-depth with the fact that she is indeed a Quartz. And, she, you know, she is a, an Amethyst. And, and Stephen as well, um, with his little elements being like the, the cookie cats, seeing as they both like food, I thought that would be something just cute just to put in there to tie them both together. I wanted to go with something simplified just to kind of resemble their mental state because they don't know themselves as Smoky Quartz that well just yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like how uh, you kind of have the smoky clouds, kind of like Rose's room. I, I just kind of, and I thought that that would be a, a good resemblance for a, a relaxing moment because I do feel like perhaps Amethyst herself was a little bit close to um, Rose Quartz, perhaps at the time that she knew her. So I imagine that they probably had a good relationship together. I'm glad they managed to get some cookie cats because I thought they were uh, discontinued. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can magic? create whatever they want, probably, right? Is it um does in this room do they have the ability to create where they ever they want, like with in Rose's room, or is it a little bit different? I, I well, from seeing what I saw with um, uh, Sardonyx, she was able to create moments in in a matter of seconds. So I imagine that they can definitely do the same thing. It works in the same manner. Yeah, that's a good point. Like she was able to create the audience, which was super creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I made them. I was like, okay. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> so I know that you had elements, a lot of elements from Rose's room, but was there anything that maybe you wanted to put in the room that did not fit well with uh, what you had in mind? Uh, yeah, there were. I had like ideas for um, giant piles of junk, just that side from Amethyst. Because even when Steven first entered the room, he was kind of amazed by what Amethyst has done. He was quite surprised. <laughs> but in the same way, um, it's like he understood her, and I feel like they do understand each other quite a bit. So, like, in the shadows of the room, you can see, like, little pieces of junk here and there, like chairs and, like, a, a, just an old mattress. <laughs> yeah, I like the little details you put in for that. Because I thought if I just kept it subtle, like, those, those messy elements are there, but they're not so prominent yet. Mm -hmm. So those like little bits on the ground next to the like little sofa, uh, is that, are those just like smoky quartz like gems or are they like... Oh hot? no, they're, they're soda cans. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a typical amethyst thing, so I'm just gonna drink it and throw it on the floor. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. Mm -hmm. So what, as you guys know watching, this is our first segment of our uh, fusion room um, series. So what what made you want to do Smoky Quartz above the all the other characters? I feel like a lot of the other characters will probably have a lot more um, 
I guess like a set tone to them where you can kind of tell that Sardarnix is very in tune with herself. And I liked the idea of taking something where they don't really know each other, you know, know each other as themselves as Smoky Quartz just yet. And that makes it a bit more of a challenge mm -hmm. because they don't know themselves very well and they're still figuring that out. Even when they try to introduce themselves, they don't quite know how to introduce themselves just yet. Right. All that they have is like, oh, we can do a yo-yo and, you know, <laughs> we're awesome, check us out. But it's just like they don't know themselves deep down just yet. It's not like Garnet, where they know who they are deep down. I think there's a lot that Smoky Quartz needs to come to terms with, with herself. Yeah, definitely, especially since she's never fused with Rose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the reason like I chose like the floating enemas because I definitely think it, seeing Steven fuse with, of course, um, uh, it's like um, Connie to form Stevani that they have the floating powers. So I definitely think that um, Smoky Quartz will have that ability as well at some point. So after choosing uh, the fusion that you wanted to do, what was the process like or your thought process or just the process in general for making a piece like this? Um, the first thing was just kind of like observe the um, actual image of the gem herself for a while to pick out the colors and then to look up what an actual smoky quartz looks like and then pick out the colors from that as well. And then I just took some time looking at each of them as an individual and then seeing what things would probably work together in their current state of mind to see what they would probably put in a room. And I felt like something more relaxing for them to understand themselves and to just get away from all of the struggles of not being tall and not being super strong and not having all these cool powers just something for them to just get away from and relax and just be themselves awesome so how long have you been uh making art oh god yes <laughs> <laughs> um i started taking it a lot more seriously probably about 10 years ago so a long oh, time wow. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I haven't been like overly comfortable with um, the backgrounds. So I mainly do mostly character art and like just characters and stuff like that. So it was, it was actually quite fun to do a background piece because it enabled me to just kind of stretch my legs a little bit and do something different. Yeah, you knocked it out of the park, definitely. Yeah, I agree, <laughs> <Thank> definitely. <you. laughs> so any social media of yours that people should follow um, if they want to see more of your art? Yeah, I have a, um, a Facebook account, of course, under the same name. So it's Chi Jenny uh, at Facebook. Uh, you can just use the same name to find me at uh, DeviantArt, Instagram, Tumblr as well. So what, what other kind of art do you do? Um, uh, of course, character art. I like to do things from emotion mostly. So I, t I like to take an emotion and turn it into something. Uh, my main subject is the female form. The female form is uh, it's just like a personal preference and it fits well with the type of work that I do as well. So any other like fandom stuff that you draw? Uh, Steven Universe is probably one of the biggest fandoms that I like to take drawings from. <laughs> but I also like to do fan art from um, video games and um, a certain anime that I used to like as a child. Sweet. I've also so done other Cartoon Network fan art for uh, Oh, which that I've done Billy and Mandy. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've done little stuff like that. I I have like lots of old favorite cartoons. So sometimes I just dabble into little fan arts from each one. Nice. So speaking of Steven Universe, what is your favorite episode? You had to choose one. Oh, don't do that. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should ask. <laughs> I what are think... some of your favorite episodes? Um, definitely episode 106. Here comes a thought. I think that's probably one of my most favorite ones. Definitely. Because that's, that speaks volumes to so many people and it's such an, uh, an emotional episode, which is really nice. I also enjoy the one with uh, Peridot trying to make friends with, um, with Lapis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just that moment when she goes up to her and says, like, I got your number. Like, oh, God. <laughs> she, she, ended up, she ended up doing well. She got into the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I do like the episode. But of course, um, oh, it was a really emotional one where Stephen finds that tape from his mom. I think that's that's a really nice one. It's really sad. Yeah, it hit me in the feels for sure. It does hit you in the feels. You're just watching like, oh man, <laughs> I need to go talk to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't mention um, Earthling since you did the Smoky Quartz Room. 
Um, well, yeah, I, I do. I love the episode where she reveals herself, but it doesn't quite tip the most favorite episode mm. yet. Like, there are lots of episodes to come, so it's kind of hard to see which one's my favorite. I guess until it's it's finished, and then I can kind of pick out which one is True. probably the best one. Yeah, there's a lot mm-hmm. of great ones. I like dabbling into all the little fan theories that go on. <laughs> Uh-huh. You came to the right channel. <laughs> I know. I know. I know because you did one based of like, is Lion um, actually Pink Diamond? And you sat there and said, you know what, that actually makes sense. <laughs> that makes about the most sense that could come around because, of course, there are so many of them, like, people saying, oh, you know, me, perhaps Rose Quartz is actually Steven just reformed. It's like, no, I think Steven would know in himself. Right. Because, of course, when you see like, when a gym reforms, they know who they are. They know what they're doing. They're fully aware of themselves. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, nah, that, that theory's thrown out the window. <laughs> so, like, the theory of her actually being lying, it's like, yeah, I find that plausible. I think there's something there. Yeah, best we have to go off right now. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> you know, it's something. It's something. It's something, yeah. We'll start, you know, just keep dabbing into it when they keep giving yeah. us something else. Uh, do you do commissions, generally? Um, yeah, I, I, I do take commissions. Um, I don't really have like any set prices because, of course, every commission is different. It's kind of hard just to say, oh, it's just this much. It's, it's just a case to just message me and we'll talk about it. Sweet. So, guys, thank you for watching, uh, seeing the Smoky Quartz Fusion Room. We'll have a couple more of these coming up in the upcoming weeks. But if you are an artist who is good at making backgrounds like this and you would want to do one of your own, feel free to email us at cartooniverses at gmail.com with an example of your artwork and which uh, fusion gem you would like to do. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you so much for having me. Take care.